This NFL props week four edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is brought to you by Underdog Fantasy. Play the underdog, pick them in college or NFL, and win up to twenty x in one game. Plus, every Sunday they're giving away a hundred thousand dollars. Use promo code SGPN at Underdog Fantasy for a one hundred percent deposit bonus up to five hundred dollars. We're also brought to you by Manscaped. Get twenty percent off and free shipping with the code SGP at Manscaped.com. That's twenty percent off with free shipping at Manscaped.com. Use code SGP. We're also brought to you by Vsin. Sign up now and save forty percent with their football season special. When you use the promo code SGP, vsin.com slash subscribe, promo code SGP. Finally, we're brought to you by Hall of Fame Bets, the sports betting research platform for parlays, player props, and game lines. Download the Hall of Fame Bets app or visit hofbets.com. Use code SGPN to get 50% off your first month and start making smarter bets today. Hey, everybody. Joe Thai has been here. You're listening to SGPN. So do this, let it ride. To the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean, second the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan. Real money Kramer. What's happening, Kramer? Dog. Void, void, <laughs> void, <laughs> void. We we did it, Sean. Yes. Once again, we murdered someone with our high stakes ETH League, yeah. aka Luke Musgrave. Hopefully, put, they void those bets we gave out. Uh, took Chig Okonkwo out, put in Luke Musgrave. All my hunky tight end heartthrobs are just uh, getting Suck. destroyed. We it is. Suck. It is a weird year for tight ends, but um, yeah, we also lost uh, Mike Williams. Uh, we do really have a curse going on in that league. This man, he's not cursed. He's cursed with a uh, charm and uh, great picks. Give it up for the host from the bottom line bombs, the man in the box himself, C.J. Sullivan. What's up, C.J.? How we doing? Thank you for bringing me here. Yeah, a little loud off the box. Always loud off the box. I'm a ba- I'm a back of the house performer. Show us your picks. I like that. You your got voice, yeah, voice carries. Great picks. <laughs> Voices do carry. Uh, I've been told that many a time to uh, keep it down and up. Uh, that hey, we can hear you from down here. You know we hear you, right? I get that a lot. Uh, chat is already <laughs> down in front. <laughs> yeah. Chat is already lit. YouTube.com slash sports gambling podcast. Yes. Make sure you, of course, smash that subscribe button. Smash! Uh, Steffi Smalls in the chat. Hit uh, that Jared Goff INT prop. I mm. know you like that as well, CJ. That, that plus money. Yeah. You, I mean, how long are they going to keep giving out plus money <laughs> interception props for Jared Goff? And they Jared don't watch Goff, the game, Sean. Jared Goff, to his credit, threw like a very obvious interception. Mm-hmm. And I texted my buddy immediately, my high school buddies that were doing a circa millions in the guys uh, with the good picks. For yes. the Do you want, if you want the winners, uh, DM me, yeah. I, he was going to play the lions. He right. didn't play the lions. And then when that happened, we were like, Oh, thank God we didn't play good the lions." Thing didn't. And then Jared Goff didn't came matter. back. I, it did feel like there was a, there a moment where collectively, um, the lion's butthole. It felt like it was tightening a little bit. They were almost going to blow it, but we got to get rid of these uh, personal fouls on yes. guys it's touching. Awful. I don't even know who it's for. People in the, the it's not player safety. I mean, the guy leaped over him. He barely he, like a they, cleat. It's like they want to cancel special teams, but this this play they want to make sure it's very ruled up. Mm. Right. Very ruled. It's up. all for safety on a game played three days after they just played an NFL yeah. game. <laughs> yes, <laughs> they compare it to yeah. playing an NFL yeah, game, right. being in a car crash. Uh-huh. So of course, forty times you right. can do it three days later. Sure. So after on Thursday. traveling, but wait a minute, you lined up against the center <laughs> on a field goal. <laughs> no. Yeah, I, I don't get it. It clearly isn't a huge thing for player safety, and then again, it's right. clearly not. I mean, it's right up there. With people trying to outlaw the tush push, we saw Jack Del Rio um, uh, calling for the elimination of the tush push. Here's the here's the deal. It, feels it, like a soft. Thing, I, so. I'm with JJ Watt. If you took away the ability to slightly nudge Jalen Hurts, he would still be awesome at 
getting uh quarterback sneaks. Like quarterback mm. sneaks are highly effective plays for the most part. Yeah. Tom Brady did it. They didn't shove him. It still works. It, it the people are trying to come at the Eagles saying, "Oh, this is so it's a Jack Del Rio said it's a rugby play. Fucking entire football has rugby style rules, Jack Del Rio." You want to hear my take on this? Yes. I, Impartial observer. Impartial. Well, <laughs> I, I I have zero problem with the play. But you are, I mean, you are a fan of one of the 31 teams that are not allowed to do the play, though, as Sean pointed out. Yeah, yeah no, right. there's a rule where yeah. only the Eagles right. are allowed to do the play. Uh, no other teams are allowed mm-hmm. to slightly nudge their. Uh, no, I, I mean, again, I it seems like just a bitch move to complain about the play. Yeah. Now, well, as to it's why Jalen Hurts wasn't on the injury report when he was less than 100%. Maybe we should ask more questions there. He's not a, oh yeah, he yeah. Was, we, well we know well, the be, the best teams always are skirting the rules. I'm so. definitely for a banning of the name Tush Push. Yeah, yeah. brotherly uh, shove sounds better. Brotherly shove, brotherly sure. shove. That's the best. Yes. How about we just call it football? All right, all right. <laughs> hey, don't let those guys call football on the goal line. Tush football, push. unstoppable. I mean, listen, Sean. As, as you know, I lived in West Hollywood for a little bit, and. Tush push had a completely different <laughs> meaning. There. It was not all about converting a sweet ass fourth down to, to ice a game. Well, you know, that's for sure. So yeah. it's a reverse. Uh, some call it the two point conversion. Um, <laughs> you can do the math on that it's one. Just a little nudge. <laughs> yeah. All you oh, gotta do the, is the get it across the, the goal line. Yeah. 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 That, that's oh, well, it, you know, you get a couple cocktails. First, and you, things, oh so. yeah, you know, you, I mean, you think J- Kelsey really helps loosen up that hole, <laughs> so Hertz gets through there. Yeah, he's one of those guys who will get penetration. Oh man, we got a show for you tonight, Sunday night. Uh, player props. Well, sorry, Ooh. we have the first touchdown for yeah. Sunday night football. Then this is my favorite thing about this season so far. What? Oh, just you battling with the props we're going to talk about yes. on this show. <laughs> we're giving out five of our favorite props. What are we doing Sunday this week slate? on the prop show? Well, I think that that we do three for the Thursday night. We do five for the Sunday slate. Yeah. So it does throw it, me off. Well, well, really, what throws me off is the double Monday night game yeah. that they did week two and week three, not week one for whatever reason. Uh, it's just my my brain's scrambled right now. Well, week one was just was that that was just the Aaron Rodgers nine eleven, yes. right? Oh, yeah. Which, by the way, I I still <laughs> they have really jinxed themselves. My, about I mean, they should have at least yeah had at least one, one of the pennants. See, they, the Pentagon still gets no respect on even on nine eleven. <laughs> yeah, the, Washington can't. They get should a play a game at yeah. the Pentagon right. or that field oh, where right. Flight ninety three went down. They can yeah. they can do yeah, it. Yeah, in there. the middle of the field. Who, who, who would want to see a Pennsylvania quarterback throw a ball through a tire? <laughs> Helped take. I mean, taken Damn down Kendrick. by that plane was taken down by someone who, uh, or one of the the one of the great heroes who took it down was a rugby player. Would have been pro. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Would have been pro. Oh, push. Jack Del Rio yeah. would have said no, no rugby right. on the plane, only on the rugby pitch. And then, then Bobby Bowden stole their slogan. Remember, and he's like, <laughs> "We're gonna we're gonna take that. Let's roll. Let's same roll. same same energy." I mean, I don't see what the big deal is, wrong. Jack. <laughs> it's just a little dust up. <laughs> it's a great slogan. All right. Uh, before we get into some of the picks here, shout out to Little Caesars. Oh man, just had a had a little Caesars feast. <laughs> Stay over here, CJ. <laughs> little Caesars, the official pizza Sean sponsor of the oh. NFL. Um, order online during their pizza pizza pregame, one hour before NFL games, and get ready for some football and fun. Of course, uh, we we uh, got some. Uh, I mean, Little Caesars much better than the product uh, on the field for Thursday night football. Got uh, got CJ to uh, sample the pepperoni uh, pizza with the pretzel crust. It is uh, pretzel crust. I mean, <laughs> it is like pure meth. <laughs> yes, it's salt. It's incredible. It tastes good, great. Good it, meth, not yes. bad. Yeah, meth. that you, that pure white crystal mm. salt pretzel. It is. Uh, it's just delicious yeah. and super convenient. A lot of people don't realize you can get Little Caesars delivered. And of course, obviously, in store with their pizza portal pickup. So grab some friends, enjoy a few slices during the tastiest hours before kick, or obviously during the game. Little Caesars, shout out to Little C's. And uh, Underdog Fantasy, if you haven't signed up already, <laughs> Underdog Fantasy, promo code SGPN, uh, 100% deposit bonus up to $500. They got the $100,000 giveaway. Uh, you just have to play one of their. Featured fantasy legs, higher or lower. Uh, we're going to be giving out some player props. Some of the numbers you can find right from Underdog Fantasy as well. 
Kramer, kick things off. What do you got? What's your first? Well, I mean, let's head to. We got to play the the English game, right? We because everyone's up early. They're going to want to have oh, some okay. action. Mm. A little dicey because we could a- enter the pregame show with some people already mad at me <laughs> that we've we're out. We've already ruined the Sunday. But uh, Bijan Robinson, Sean, in all three of his games this year has gone higher than twenty five and a half receiving yards. Mm. Really, which is where the number has been set. So. I am going to propose. I'm not going to get cute. Reverse with it. it. No, I completely think that no. he think is going to go over all of these numbers, but I'm isolating in on the one that's obvious and easy. Again, even in the bad game last week, Shawnee had 27 receiving yards. So 25 and a half higher B. John Robinson. Don't overthink it. Part of my core entry this week, Sean. Now, now, uh, are we out on Jameer Gibbs? If what do you mean? If you're a fantasy owner, are you out on Jameer Gibbs? Uh, you can't be out on him, but boy, uh, it does seem like David Montgomery might be. <laughs> part Dude, they of were. They, they, I mean, not only did Montgomery get the three touchdowns, but then they also uh, they had him like ice in the game when they were up three scores. Like the dude's just coming back from injury. He's clearly your workhorse guy, Dog. and he was and he was catching a bunch Dog. of passes. If you're a Jameer yeah. Gibbs owner, you got to be concerned because that was supposed to be the Jameer Gibbs role. I mean, give it time. Give it time. He's got to learn, you know. He, although, when you go back and watch their celebration in the draft war room, it does give you a little bit of pause. Like, what what were they celebrating so hard for? Like, they were going to break the table. No, oh, I mean, it was, like, it I, was. This a, isn't a break the table guy right now. I'm not seeing a break the table guy. It was a great win. Shout out to Easy and all the fellow Lions fans. So, congrats no, to you. Not guys. shouting them out. <clears throat> Still hurts. My, CJ, what do you got? Well, I'm going to start us off with a banger. Um, Let's hear it. I want to give out, uh, um, as you know, of the bottom line bombs I've coined, and I know I know you picked it up. Um, just shout out to the Adam Sheranoff of my oh my uh, <laughs> my Waz release, my white oh. angle sports release. Yes, yeah, well, that- not the right, not to be confused with right angle sports, the popular tout service that moves lines <laughs> and has their release shows and cancels and setups. <laughs> so you have to be uh, very suspenseful. Yes. I have what we call the white angle sports. <laughs> and after we get a white skill player, yes. must be a skill player. And what happens is the, the other players can't believe <laughs> he's as fast as he is because he's white. So they take bad angles. They take white angles. They wind up running into each other. And next thing you know, they're going down the sideline. Uh, Jordy Nelson. I mean, they talked about this. With Jordy Absolutely. He was a white angle. White guy. Ang- he, Jordy Nelson made a career of white angle. Um, <laughs> so we're going to do a setup. Oh, okay. <laughs> Cause some are canceled. Some are fake just to see if they'll, you know, we don't want to move the wrong one. Yeah. We are live on youtube.com slash sports game and podcast. Yeah. Steve Largent is a cancel. Oh, <laughs> that's no. a cancel. Not uh, Steve I was ready to play it. No, oh, that's Hall a of Famer right Easy there, Ed guy. McCaffrey from Allentown, Pennsylvania. But, oh. in a, but in a similar, right, but in a similar, like it's a revenge game. I mean, you can do this any way you want going to that Carolina, Minnesota game. Where oh. There's be plenty of points. Adam Thielen. Whoa. Yes. I mean, love it. You, I, I mean, it's what, what number do you have? Is it four and a half catches I have four or four and a half have... catches, 51 and a half yards. You can pick one. I'll take the other. It doesn't matter. He's like getting that. it all. Cause he will finish. And this is the prediction yes. here. He will finish with a gentleman stat <laughs> of 10 catches, 100 yards, one touchdown I, I, on the bat, all, even across the board. Love it. Gentleman I, stats. I mean, especially if Andy Dalton ends up playing, I think it's double digits are in play again. Yes. Even with Bryce young, who isn't as good. I mm-hmm. still think he gets five, six catches at the very least. And so it's I'm a revenge you. spot versus Minnesota. I mean, I thought he was dead. It, it did take Andy Dalton to resurrect him a bit. That did, that did upset me that Bryce young, but uh, Adam Thielen over 51 and a half yards. Oh yes. Love that more <laughs> than a Thielen. Sean. It's a go <laughs> hooked on a Thielen. Oh, well it, the numbers already moved. Yeah. That's a it's people are <laughs> taking white angles on this prop right now <laughs> as we speak. Uh, Sean, Sean real, real quick, yes. because I, I do think it's worth noting. Uh, last week, had you gotten experimental and maybe laddered mm. a guy yes. like this, you would have gotten paid. Mm. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are we looking at a ladder here? Uh, I, we definitely safe, have ladder options. Safety ladder. Seventy five yards. You got plus two twenty on oh. them. One hundred yards, which is very doable. I, I, that's what I call him from a gentleman. That is six to one. So if you're not watching on youtubecom slash sports gambling podcast, normally when someone uh, would be asked a, a qu- hot question like this, no pre-production here, 
Uh, he'd be looking it up on his computer. Right. Mm. But CJ, he just, have had, a he just glanced down at his analog computer, aka this <laughs> fucking awesome clipboard. Clipboard with a post it note <laughs> size, almost mid range paper on it. So I like to keep it tight, square, you know, type. Uh, I see what you're doing. And you're centered. Standing with Andy Reid with the narrow place. I like that. <laughs> 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 Well, this was the second clipboard, as we know. The one uh, got taken at Burbank. Uh, yes. The first one got taken at Burbank Airport. Oh, I forgot that. A tussle, which I'll be going into tomorrow to see if it's still there. We're watching games, and see, and Sean's like, I think they took his uh, clipboard. Yeah. They said it was too sharp. Not the clipboard itself, but the plays I had written on it were too sharp. Oh, they were wow. going to kill the books. The TSA guys were worried. Well, I I did say something to Kramer. Could take down a plane. <laughs> we were on the plane last week, and I go. Oh, so these kids can bring a skateboard on the yeah. plane? That skateboard, but not, a, you, not, but a, not a clipboard, right? I mean, you, I could beat a man much easily with a skateboard. Than For a sure, clipboard. absolutely. And a skateboard is much more annoying. I want to, I want to list the boards. Can wakeboards go? How? Where, where do you? Right, where where do you the put boards? your uh, skateboard when you're on a plane? Right. It doesn't. It doesn't fit nicely in the overhead bin. In fairness, Sean, we've also beaten a lot of people with our picks. Yes, <laughs> beat a lot of books. Look out! Pew pew pew. Like All right, kids. my first play. Give me Joe Burrow <laughs> under Joe Burr. Joe Burrow under one and a half passing touchdowns. Ooh. I don't think he's still 100. percent He is going on the road to Tennessee on a short week. How do you beat Tennessee? You throw the deep ball. He seemed very limited. It was a lot of dink and dunk. And I think if they do get close to the goal line to score some points. It, they're going to get Joe Mixon going and not risk, um, not risk, not, not risk throwing down there because I, I don't think you need to. I, I think the chances he gets some deep shot touchdowns are very thin just because yeah. of and, and on the road heat and humidity in Tennessee. I like it. That is not good for a calf strain. So Joe Burrow under one and a half passing touchdowns. Because Joe Burrow already came out last week when he said, you know, this game really means nothing. Because, oh. because he's <laughs> like, I gotta play one and three. You can't we, go on three. That's a death sentence. But so we'll win this. One and, then and we'll, three, you're fine. Yeah, one and three, you're fine. <laughs> so what's the difference if you lost last week and then won this week? Well, who cares what order the one and three comes? Uh, yes. He's a football player. Uh, honestly, the the game against Tennessee because they're in the same conference. You could argue it's actually more means important, more for sure than a non conference loss. And but he, they're a Monday night, and he would have been healthier if he didn't play. Uh, yeah, but but his, the owner told him not to be a pussy. Mm, all right. And he picked him up in the golf cart. It's it's now been confirmed. He said, "Are you going to be a pussy or are you going to play?" Joe, if you look at the fine print of that two hundred seventy five million dollars I gave you, <laughs> it, uh, you'll see you'll see it clearly says. Yeah, no pussy clause was uh, <laughs> after, after he saw the way that he dressed at that white party. He said, "No pussy for you." No, pu uh, no <laughs> pussy clauses. That was a, that was a cartoon, right? That's Chad one of my, my favorite Christmas songs. No, no pussy clause for you. <laughs> Chad is lit. Uh, Steffi uh, pointing out uh, uh, Burrow also plus money to throw an interception Ooh, like that. Okay. Uh, Aaron pointing out clipboard of mass destruction <laughs> and uh, Marco saying fumando mi mota, AKA smoking Whoa. my weed. So Wee, shout out to you. Nice. That is awesome. We're doing, we're full, we're international. Yes. Hmm. A little less Spanish. Kramer. What's your next one? All right. Let's go to a game where it seems like I'm going to be on the opposite side of some of the razors out there. Give me Lamar Jackson over 47 and a half rushing yards. If you're not paying attention, again, they, they, I don't. They might not be watching the games, but two weeks ago, 12 carries, 54 yards. Yeah. Last week, 14 carries, 101 yards. Uh, this defense has. Are they been, playing the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland? No, but the Cleveland Browns are certainly gonna get out, look to get after them, and I'll be impressed if they if they contain them. I like the Jim Schwartz scheme against uh, Lamar Jackson. I, I know you 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 said that you're a wide nine specialist. Yes. Yeah. But I I like the idea of him getting carries. I mean, even if you look uh, to last year when he did when he was healthy when he wasn't holding out and played them, uh, ten carries, fifty nine yards. So sure, the scheme changed. So, so maybe you're right. But I think if he gets fourteen carries, he's going over forty seven and a half yards. Well, that'll be interesting because we saw Edwards was back practicing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think Justice Hill is still in the concussion protocol, so he's, we'll see no, he, what kind he, of limited practice. So okay. that means he's progressing through the concussion protocol. But it does seem like guys usually miss. Although we'll see, Jimmy G seems like now he's a go. Yeah. Jimmy G is gonna be the first guy who did who came back within a week and 
it seems like it's it's solely because he didn't leave the game. <clears throat> Got it. So Wait, it's so, a soft concussion. Right. So you have to ignore it for it to be able <laughs> yes. to come back and then early. You're good. Right. Well, exactly. like Anthony Richardson like ran to the sideline like it was uh, like he was in kindergarten <laughs> class know. and said, "I have to go pee pee." <laughs> <laughs> what I also like about that. Can I go hard. in the blue tent, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> Can I? Uh, do I need the hall pass to get in the blue tent? <laughs> I love the tent too. Like they know these injuries. Can we do something? Can we get a build a kiosk or something? How's going on? Like you know you're gonna need this. Thing. That's Nick How Saban's is it not sponsored? I mean, with the amount of camera time the blue tent gets, mm -hmm. how does the NFL, which so sponsors everything, including uh, Travis Kelsey's relationship, uh, I got a conspiracy theory that the NFL Whoa. is paying Taylor Swift to date Travis Kelsey. What? Mm. Oh, dude, what better way to get women interested in football? It's the only market the NFL hasn't cornered. Get uh, so it's a coincidence that female mm. fan day happened right around when Travis Kelsey and Taylor mm. Swift started dating. How do you get Didn't my, know there was a female my wife fan said day. football is fun this year? Why? Because Taylor Swift's really? involved. So it's on her radar. I'd oh, dude, what, the algorithms are that, colliding. That's gonna. That I would love for that be, to be true. And I would love for that to blow up in his face because now you get these Swifty fans and oh, yeah. their online investigation. Oh yeah, if they lift the deep. if they lift the hood of the NFL, <laughs> you're fucked. Yeah, one of the Swifty, uh, the Taylor Swift fans posted a uh, red flag alert and showed a video of Travis Kelsey punching his teammates. This man <laughs> is abusive. He is toxic. And if you think I'm crazy for being worried about Taylor's health, you are crazy. Yeah. This man needs to go. They're already calling for. Him. He uh, does need amazing. to go. I will more say, Blake, more, date Blake Bell. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I will say. Oh man, I got an angle for the uh, first touch. I would like to maybe ask Chandler Jones what he thinks about the Taylor Swift situation. <laughs> oh, this guy's He's got a make, lot of answers. I mean, the fact that he, I, I don't know how he could have piqued my interest any more than by suggesting that Josh McDaniels had something to do with killing Aaron Hernandez. But, that yeah. was delightful, like Epstein style. Like this man, park. this yeah. man did not kill himself. I know people were reporting these stories, like, "Oh man, what about these stories?" I'm like, how about you check in on this guy's mental health? Yeah, you guys, clearly, this guy's obviously got a problem. Well, uh, it, it seems, I don't know it if there's like any. They've been trying. Also, Josh McDaniels not known for execution. Uh, if you oh, watch, if you watch some of these Raiders games, <laughs> see, oh, man, wow, he, I love it. At I least he like the Raiders work for her say. No, I like that Lamar play though. By the way, just, oh, just that, the, the was, circle, the uh, circle back because you, all you had to do was look to last week. Like, yeah, we're bringing this new pass yeah, offense, and yeah. like as soon as it goes wrong, yeah. all right, Lamar, <laughs> go do that thing that nobody else can do. Yeah, and Lamar. then we'll take credit for it. We're, we're going back to that. It's the regular season, Lamar. Go be great, mm -hmm. CJ. What do you got? All right, so yours was Burrow under one and a half touchdown passes. Is that what that was? Yeah, we're yep. gonna we're gonna thread a needle with you because I okay. want because I think uh, Jamar Chase is touchdownless so far this oh. season, and he called he called he had a nice game last Monday. That fourth quarter they, they shut down Burrow looked, and they kind of found a rhythm a little bit. It's, they caught something going on. Yeah, I think going on. So I think they're going to feed him in the end zone. It's plus one thirty for any time touchdown. Um, I can I can co-sign one touchdown. What's one touchdown for Burrow? I'm I'm actually not to foreshadow it, but he's seven plus seven hundred for a first time touchdown. Ooh. Which I'm very confident, not for confident in that, but I'm I'll be throwing that around in, a, in another play. Tennessee is yet to score first. Oh, so that's in the, true. In Good the point. first in the first touchdown market, you can just See, lay on those Bengals. This is the kind of information I like to hear. He's mm -hmm. doing a little deep dive, a little deep uh, analytics. Mm -hmm. By the way, Sean. So yes. if you did want to thread that needle. To, oh, hold on! Just come back to me in a minute. Come okay. Uh, this is what one. happened. Did you see? I never buffer. Oh yeah. <laughs> I look at the sheet. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm fucking buffering. <laughs> this I one. Don't, I don't need to dial up for this I, guy. See what I was doing? I was putting together your uh, your negative. <laughs> your, I was putting together the old negative correlation. Right. Oh. Um, oh, I like this. So, so you are a part of like calculator. So under one and a half burrowed <laughs> passing touchdowns with a Jamar Chase anytime touchdown mm -hmm. is seven to one. Yeast. They let you. They let you combine those. Yeah, wow. that's interesting. That's they're like if you want to go against yourself, go yeah. for it. <laughs> I like. I like that book. I, I would. Yeah, I would say you're. Yeah, very you're, generous. You're creating a narrow range of outcomes. We call that the mop allowance. <laughs> it could be a rushing touchdown as well. Oh, that's true. That's a good point. And, and I could see them running a little uh, yeah, in around a Jamar Chase, DeAndre Hopkins. Higher, and this is a uh, underdog has these uh, these uh, these fantasy bets here. DeAndre Hopkins higher eight point two five fantasy points, so it's underdog scoring, meaning half point PPR. Mm -hmm. He has not gotten a, a touchdown either. They, I mean, he's getting like twenty five to thirty percent of the targets. 
even last game, which was a horrible game, they got destroyed by the Browns defense. He still had three catches for 48, which would be uh, you know almost uh, six and a half fantasy points. So I I think him getting 8.25 at home against the Bengals defense is very very doable. They just Ryan Tannehill locks in on him. He's laser focused on DeAndre Hopkins. So yeah, give me a higher 8.25. Fantasy points. That's can so you, easy. Can you hit the nerd sound drop? Sure. No. Right. Fantasy points. Oh come, come on! It's right. Doing? I wanted to go. Uh, You're gonna get us killed. It's like the kicking prop incident. <laughs> hey, we're gonna get a two star fucking review the, for this. Should I give out his reception? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Some some guys get some. some that guy, is weird though. You bet the fantasy some points. Some sixty two year old guys gonna be like, how the fuck do I get down on this? Well, the, underdog fantasy. Yeah. Right? And then what happens? Like, and then like halfway through the game, like, okay, now what did I count as? So you have to go back there. Like, am I going oh, up against a, a half guy? A point? Right. What's a half a point? All right, you want me to help resurrect? Yes. Which, by the way, bon- uh, y- if you want to get in the uh, the contest where they just give money away, ten grand to ten people, mm. it's Damian Pierce right now, and I'll include it organically in my card. Oh, it's perfect! That, it's right. that way. Nice. Damian Pierce, we love him. We probably have you higher on him than you should be <laughs> because he's been hot trash this year. Mm. Did get a touchdown, but yes, underwhelming. He so has ju- he has gone lower than his total every week, and yet here it is. Ha- it sits here still sixty three and a half total yards. Yeah, I don't love the matchup. I know people say, well, you got to run against the Steelers defense. I think the Steelers defense is going to be pretty disruptive. So I'll be surprised if he gets the volume. Uh, to get, I think they're finding CJ Stroud can sling it a little bit, and that's going to be their shot here. So I, I'll be surprised if he gets the volume to get there lower, sixty three and a half Ooh, total wow. yards. Oh yeah, I'm with you. I as and much as I as much as it pains me as the guy who was a shit ton of Damian Pierce, I don't see him going off. Someone, and, someone and offered in. me someone offered me Damian Pierce in a fantasy league uh, last week, and I told him to go directly to hell. Yeah, well, <laughs> that I, was my only response to it. You, you go, go to yeah, hell. You do not collect two hundred. Sound like Sean? He loves he loves getting in these text threads over mm-hmm. fantasy football right. tra- trades. What are you talking? Oh, this, this, was a, this, was, this was on the official <laughs> league email transaction. <laughs> this went league wide. Oh wow, a league wide. <laughs> <Yeah. blast. laughs> Hey, uh, shout out to V Sin. Mm. Uh, Kramer and I got our weekly show on V Sin Sports Game and Podcast Live. Had CJ on there as well. And uh, V Sin, they're running a little promo to see uh, which show can get the most V Sin subscription signups. And uh, the show would win a $1,000 Super Bowl future. We're going to kick it down to you guys. So anyone who signs up over at vsin.com slash subscribe using the promo code SGP and then take a screenshot of the email of you signing up, whatever. And then take that over to sports game on podcast.com slash VSIN. If we end up winning, you'll get to vote on how we're going to use our thousand dollar super bowl future. And then if it hits, you're in on the action. And I don't think it's going to take a, it might not be a, a ton of people you'd be splitting it with. So uh, you, I mean, imagine, you know, we get like a 10 to one super bowl future. We got 10 people splitting it. Uh, I mean, you do the math. That's that's pretty sweet. And hey, we're I, not losing the hoops here. All right, <laughs> the fuck's going on? You know, and you know, hoops ain't giving his do, his no, ticket to the, to the fans. And this the the Mitch pro- and Polly. What the Mi- fuck? We look oh, like assholes. Oh, can we? You come across? Come, <laughs> come on. <laughs> the promo ends Saturday, so make sure you get in. Veasan slash subscribe. Promo code S G P. I watched. I once streamed for twenty four hours for you people. Yeah, come the on. The least you can do. Is throwing me and a then, goddamn And Visa bone. has Visa has uh, good tools, the betting splits, a bunch Mitch. of betting I, strategies, a uh, bunch of good info as well. So do us a solid, and uh, maybe do yourself a solid. I just realized I do a Mitch and Paulie impressions, and, oh. and 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 none of them have words. <laughs> I was like, oh, Paul, oh, oh, that's Paulie. And then, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were there. Sounds like a chihuahua <laughs> and, a, and a, maybe like a bulldog <laughs> that doesn't like to bark. Can you see that? Can you maybe get down on that? I I, I can't get there. I can't get there with them. I can't. I just can't get there with Jacksonville. CJ, yeah. I'll see you. What's your next? Uh, what do you like here? We we'll have another wide angle sports oh, release. Breaking oh, breaking news. Setup number seven fourteen. San Francisco, Arizona. Oh wow. Tom Rathman <laughs> over three and a half <laughs> rushing attempts. Tom Rathman, that is a cancel. Oh. That is a cancel. It, that you know his market's been real good. Which, by the way, I, I should comment also. It is. If you're watching games, the to say someone took a white angle yes. while watching is fun. Mm. It's fun. It's because it happens. And you get a, and you get a double take always. 
Even now, I'm not even sure we can say this, but <laughs> <laughs> that's also the fun of it. Same game set up Christian McCaffrey. Oh. Over 79 and a half rushing yards. Uh, again. I mean, Sean mushed it last week, but it's been pretty solid otherwise. What? No, it hit. Did it? Yeah. It hit. It wound up hitting. It, it, it was oh. there real early. It was closed. Then it looked like it wasn't, but he wound up with like 85 or something like that. Oh, all right. He got there. No, this, maybe I mean, I'm thinking yeah. two weeks ago. This is a go. He he hits this every time. They can't they haven't adjusted this rushing prop yet, no, I don't right. feel enough. Like he's not like they they feel like he's the guy who gets like 10 carries anymore. He doesn't. He's getting 17 to 20 rushing attempts well, a game and, and now. Now that they had, have Debo. He had 85. I think it was like they moved it to like 81 or right. something. Oh, and you're right. That he got there. All he right. got there. And but they they were trying to actually work in the uh, Elijah Mitchell, Mitchell yeah. angle. And uh Debo Samuel intends to be questionable was the latest report I saw, <laughs> which is a great headline. You know what? Sunday, I think I'm going to be questionable. <laughs> I'm, I'm working to questionable. How, how you what feel, you, Devo? What are you now, though? Uh, if, I, if I had to guess, I'd say I'm questionable. Right now, I doubt that. They were asking him to play too much running. Yeah, so he's... Arizona, who I don't think is going to get blown out by, you know, like 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 what are icing everyone in the second half. So I'm not saying I'm not, I'm not giving out a pick if they're going to cover or not, but, you know, Arizona seems game so far. So I think they're going to need four quarters of McCaffrey, 79 and a half. That's a go. I, I'm, oh, and I'm already seeing that. Go ahead and go ahead and see you in the chat room. Let's go ahead and put your picks. Oh, I see a 79 and a half and an 80 and a half and an 80 and a half. Good the, line is the line is moving. Uh, for me, so, man, we need a selfie stick. <laughs> <laughs> give me uh give me Brian Robinson mm. under 54 and a half really? rushing yards. Eagles rush Ooh. defense is stout. I know Ryan's been talking a ton of shit on the Philly Bulldogs. Uh, Jordan Davis breakout year. Uh, Jalen Carter uh, leader right now mm. for defensive rookie mm. of the year. One of the best defensive tackles in the league three through games, three yeah. games. Through three games. But uh, I, I think they're going to clamp down on the run, and I I think I think Brian Robinson's going to struggle. Uh, he's gone over this every one of the previous games. He doesn't get it done. This game, so give me under fifty four and a half. Brian Robinson rushing. Wow. Like <sighs> so. He didn't get shot this off season. No, no. I mean Jesus Christ. He did not chatter, Bobbin. Can't believe he, and, and he guy. didn't win comeback player of the year no. after getting shot. No, and speaking that's of how which, bad uh, that's how bad Geno Smith was. Are we ready to talk mm-hmm. about it yet? What? Well, John Mechie has stats this year. Okay. And Demar Hamlin hasn't played yet. What kind of cancer did Mechie have? Leukemia. Hmm. Yeah, all, serious the, all the way. That's serious really. one. All right, I'll give him that. Yeah, he's to me. I, I think because if it was like a little skin cancer, you go in, you know, no, get a little man, blemish. A little zap, little. Dermatologist takes care of it. A little swipe so, up. <laughs> I'm not giving you the award. All so right? Demar Hamlin has to play though, right? Yeah. Uh, no. Oh, now Sean's on a on a full. He can win it without playing. Uh, I think he just surviving. like well, so by playing, meaning they're going to give him at least a couple plays in that Cincinnati right. game. <laughs> you got, you got. I mean, everyone's okay, coming. Okay, so he's going to come out the last snap of the first half. We're all yes. going to pretend like we're tackling him, and yep. we're just going to let Demar run into the end zone. Exactly, it's going to be. Great. <laughs> I mean, he's, I mean, still, this is he's a, still a minus 105 favorite, right? Oh, it's down to minus 105. Are you getting worried? It was minus 1,000. No, John Mechie's still 35 to 1. The one who should be touting is our buddy Bowser, who got so much shit from people online about TJ Watt at 75 to 1. No, he he's win. down to 15 he's to 1. He's not winning. Tua is plus 125. No, he can't win. That's ridiculous. Tua needs to finish the season. So, is the comeback player of the year for football or judo? Well, yeah, we'll, we'll see. Right. We'll see. He'll get a he'll get an orange belt I heard and he's got, a comeback yeah, player of the year. I think it's a pink belt. I think he learned <laughs> he learned how to sack himself with jujitsu. Way way to uh, lay well, lay his brain down softly. <laughs> Can he win comeback player of the year twice in the same year if he gets hurt and comes back? Yeah, so he's coming back great. from last year. He'll come back from a major injury this year and still have enough stats to. Uh, yeah, guys, the guys I literally mean, coming back from to that. death and 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 cancer, and they're mm-hmm. putting people in there that yeah. just hit their head a little bit. I have a Lamar. T- I have a Lamar ticket. Uh, like t- at like twenty eight or that's something a good like one. That. Coming back from being an agent for six right. games, coming yeah. back. 
<laughs> coming back from not wanting to play with a knee injury. Coming back from getting ter- terrible advice from himself. According to our guest Jeremy Roenick, uh, yeah, he, he would not oh, be yeah. voting for him. Uh, Roenick calling all the new players oh, pussies. Yeah. I mean, great. hockey guys yeah. especially right. are not the, no. the new player in empowerment era is not sitting well with old retired uh, hockey I mean, guys. I mean, I guess yeah. I, I guess you can sit out if you want. And I'm I mean, not going to tell him that they're wrong. You know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not messing with Roenick. Uh, what do you got for a uh, your next one here, CJ? All right, um, to uh, piggy off of Ryan's one from a while ago, not a while ago, one before that, that Texans Pittsburgh game. Mm. Uh, you went under with uh, Pierce, and they yep. are airing it off, and Stroud's airing it off. I think it's a nice bounce back. He didn't have a great game last. Somehow he did not have a great game last week, even though the Texans lit it up. Nico Collins, who's been lighting it up for Stroud. Oh uh, yeah, a little bounce back game. Yeah, Tank Dell was the guy. Tank last Dell week. was the guy left, and Stroud does have a connection with them. So I think Nick, Nico is the alpha there, though. Oh yeah, um, for sure. And his numbers are three and a half and fifty-one and a oh, half. Oh my! I mean, whoa, that's, whoa. A, that's just a joke. Brian and I were kicking ourselves. How do we not have a Tank Dell? <sighs> Tank Bigsby uh, parlay going. Mm. I mean, that's just amateur hour. I got 18, 1%. Remember the movie Nico Tank Collins. in the 80s? No. It was going about going across state lines. What a lot was... of movies are about going across state lines in the 80s. But it was the well, movie Tank. That's when what... state lines were more meaningful. Yeah, right. Absolutely. What was the uh, Pamela Anderson Tank movie? No, oh. There was Tank Girl. Oh, yeah, no. was that, that, was, that was Lori Petty. Barb Wire. But it was so offered you're... to Pamela Anderson, I believe. Oh, and, okay. And Lori Petty was Tank Girl. You're thinking about pa- uh, Barbed Wire. Okay. Yeah, yeah. barbed wire, of course. The classic. That's back when they. <laughs> that's when they. Be, that's back she was when they did smut. Time. They did a, smut right back. Yeah, that'd be like in the Marvel universe nowadays. She was ahead of her time. Well, you know, it, it's not too late to bring it back. They're just recreating mm-hmm. old shit. Might as well bring buy the rights to barbed wire and bring it back as a full blown Marvel movie. I saw the get uh, Iron Man in there. I saw that amazing Pamela Anderson documentary on a side note. And I was, it was great, incredible. Little shock they didn't mention the moment uh, when she was at the Philadelphia Auto Show and uh, young CJ Sullivan was there at 17 <laughs> w- with her picture of a headshot. Know when to come. Saying, I'm also CJ, because her character's name is <laughs> CJ in Baywatch. <laughs> and oh, she, man. she had no idea what I was talking about. She didn't even know her character's name. <laughs> well, yeah, well, she never talks to her right. character. Shocked that was not in the documentary. <laughs> well, we talk, we, yeah. Sex tape or documentary? Oh. <laughs> no, that was a real right. That was a real one. Well, that's she, what I mean. That's what I wanted her to sign. I'm like, can she, you sign your. She literally walked so all these young thirsty hoes could could fucking. She really walk. did pave the way. She's a goddess. All right, how many have you guys given out? I've given out three. Okay. Uh, my fourth one here is the Pittsburgh defense slash special oh. teams anytime mm-hmm. touchdown. Really, six to one. Mm-hmm. I T.J. Watt against Laramie Tunsil's backup. Yes, sir. <sighs> Yes, sir. They had they had two against Houston. Uh, they didn't have any against Jimmy G, but they did create some turnovers. I, I, I like this uh, a lot. So yeah, give me uh, Pittsburgh Steelers anytime touchdown plus six hundred. All right, love it. Not watching the games once again. What do you mean? Not you. The people making these numbers. Oh yeah, <laughs> setting up. I mean, I mean don't, Ryan, don't get sensitive. I felt like we got into a a nice groove with some of these uh, defensive touchdowns. Six to one for a defense like the Steelers is pretty good, right? Oh yeah, that, that would pop on the price. Yeah, uh, it's like uh, you know what? Write that. Down. That that could be a fun uh, segment on the old Friday show. Oh okay. The nice. uh, the the defense of any time touchdown minute. Mm. No, uh, I'm we'll in. Just, yeah, I mean, I I'll uh, sprinkle analyze the whole marketplace. We'll talk about the value, uh, but this one again, I I think sometimes they set numbers and that's what the computer tells them to do. Yeah, and they, they don't. They, no manual adjustments. They keep coming out with this five receptions for T.J. Hawkinson. Are you kidding me? Threw it right into my core entry on underdog, Sean. <laughs> my core entry is fire this week. I got a lot of five team, five teamers out there. TJ Hawkinson uh, higher than five receptions. I mean, w- go look at the game log. You tell me which game he went even close to uh, to lower than five. Mm. Then, you know why? And and here's the thing. You know why the computer probably keeps setting this number to five? Because he does this shit on a couple drives. It'll be the drive to end this, the first half. Dink and dunk. And dink and dunk, <laughs> and then it'll be the drive to end the game where it's dink and dunk. And d- Hawkinson has had like eight, eight and seven catches. I don't understand what they're doing here. So I'll go back to the well. I think I've gone there two out of three weeks so far. So call me basic, but TJ Hawkinson flies over. Mm. Yeah, I mean him. I mean, uh, it's right there with, like, especially with Thielen not being there in Minnesota. He's kind of sucked up those easy. 
dunked it. Nine like, targets, eight receptions. Eight targets, seven receptions. Eleven targets, eight receptions last week. Yeah. Uh, no, it's it's I'm surprised they haven't moved it. CJ, what do you got? This is our fifth one, right? Yep. yep. Is, uh, well, it can be your fifth. All right. Fifth one, sure. My final white angle sports release was <laughs> we'll set up uh Rams Colts game. Oh, fourth thing on the dial. It's that's a historically white angle. One matchup. of the 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 origins, if you will. Cooper Cup. Oh, he's a cancel, by the way. Yeah, I was going to say he's, Cooper Cup. They're saying he's close. He's working his way back to working his way but back. But even on the something. IR, he can come down with two catches. So don't fade <laughs> Cooper Cup. But in his place, his placement, we're going with Puka. Now you might be saying CJ. Luke is not white. Uh, that doesn't matter. From mm. Utah. It doesn't matter as long as the D he is from Utah, yeah, which is suspicious. Honorary white guy if you're from Utah. But I he think. appears white on the field, so that fools the oh, defenders. Tricks people. Oh. Yeah, it fools the defenders. He's doing a reverse Jason Seahorn, actually. <laughs> you're a giant fan. You'll He's respect keeping this. Keeping his pants on. Where Seahorn had the visor and he had like the sleeves. And Michael Irvin said he didn't know he was white until he took his helmet <laughs> off after the game, after he played against him. So he's respect. Doing, right, so Pook is doing reverse white, so they take bad angles on him, take the white angles on him. He bounces back after a nice game. I like I like the Rams this game anyway. Over six and a half receptions at plus one oh five. It is the we have discussed it before that it does seem like more than just coincidence that there's multiple guys that look the same on <laughs> it's the ranks. It's incredible. It's like the, this is <laughs> like this the, is a system. Okay, we ha- we cannot replace it. You saying uh, <laughs> you saying all white guys look the same? <laughs> well, kind of. Yeah, you saying Sean McVay is the type? I'm <laughs> hey, hey guys, uh, bring over the whole camera crew and let me show you this sweet trick I taught my dog. Anything that keeps <laughs> anything that keeps worst segment in hard knocks right. history. We, as long as Van Jefferson doesn't get stats, that's all we can. That's all our system is based. The pod. It does seem like Stafford hates Van. Oh, Jefferson. it's ridiculous. He somehow he's getting less looks with Cooper Cup hurt. All right, Sean, who's your number five? My number five. There's a rookie out there playing pretty well. Oh. 121 pass attempts, zero interceptions. Wow. That streak comes to an end this Sunday against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Give me C.J. Stroud oh, over a dipper. half interception. Mm, Maybe you could even parlay there. these together. I mean, CJ Stroud's look good, but I don't think he's faced a defense like the Steelers team. Yeah, he goes bad under pressure. I read and 121 pass attempts. You're a rookie. Like eventually, this streak is going to come to an end. This feels like a great time for it to come to an end. So yeah, give me CJ Stroud over a half interception. Yeah, like we we mentioned on the NFL Pick Show. So go check that episode out. The <laughs> so, uh, second second in quarterback efficiency from a clean pocket, thirty first with pressure. So, there it is. Uh, Sean might be on to something. Thank you. My final, and I actually have a bonus uh, for the, for everyone out there because I fucked up and included a Sunday night one. So I have a bonus one. I'll I'll, I'll give you that at the end. So you got to listen all the way to the end. But T, uh, Mike Evans again. They're not watching the games. Lattimore always has his number. Sean, I'm going to ask you a question. You're a football guy. You've been plugged in. We've been doing this show Guilty since 2011. Charged. When do you think? What year do you think was the last time Mike Evans went over this number four and a half? 2019. 2019. That would be incorrect. What? Incorrect. It was 2018. I was going to oh say 2018. God. Uh, yeah, Damn. I mean, and and in some, uh, I, I like it's it's really a remarkable thing when you look at it. it. He hasn't even gone over the number with just targets in 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 a lot of these matchups. I I think it it's, very, it's certainly personal. Like I've never really done the deep dive, but it's almost like there's been some sort of like a uh, love triangle with a sibling or mm-hmm. so, something horrible happened between Mike Evans and Latimer and Mike Evans is just the, the, the beta in the relationship. So <laughs> we'll, we'll fly under four and a half receptions here. I, I don't know how you take the, I mean, Sean, we got to bench him in our high stakes league, which means he'll go off. Mm-hmm. Maybe we should start. Hey, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, speaking about uh, going under Ryan oh, well, uh, for well. years, you've been going under with uh, manscaped when whoa, it comes to below whoa. the belt <laughs> grooming caught a stray there. Yeah. The brand for below the, wa- uh, below the waist is coming to save that beautiful face. That's right. I know you're looking at my awesome beard and you're going, what's his secret. I'll tell you it's the beard hedger. It's a high tech piece of art in a travel size package with a long lasting battery. Even their description of the beard tr- uh, hedger 
charger is very sexual. Universal charging fits any hole and a strong motor, uh, much like me in the bedroom. Let's go, manscape. Uh, not only do you get the sweet beard hedger, they also have the handyman skin safe technology uh, with the uh, wet dry sh- uh, shaver, the electric shaver. Just gave that to CJ because I got the beard trimmer. Mm. Uh, so CJ, if you you know starts looking like Jimmy G with that you know three day <laughs> growth, he's gonna show up with a, f- a platinum membership to the yeah. hustler club. Yeah. There we're, we're gonna be wondering like, hey, wh- who are all these uh, <laughs> ladies in the office? Like, oh, well, CJ with that uh, perfectly groomed stubble, courtesy of the manscaped mm. handyman. And the best part is, use the promo code SGP twenty. I'm telling you twenty. I thought this was a typo. Twenty percent off. And free shipping over at manscaped.com. Use a promo code SGP. I love it. I can't wait to get into it. Thank you for that, Manscaped. And I'm oh, sure wow. I'm sure they would love to have me as the face of the <laughs> oh, company as I oh, show this. Of course. Just easy, uh, easy saying is the mustache mustache bet sponsored by Manscaped. I mean, perfectly yes. uh pretty perfect there. You're right. This Andy Reid mustache that I rock here, I I, I wore this a little for a while. I'm like, as a joke on kind of, all mustaches start as a joke. <laughs> they do. And you know, you ironically. Lean into it. Yeah, and then I'm like, okay, well, is this a joke anymore or is this who I am? <laughs> so I better get rid of this guy. And now I can't. Now yeah. I mean. This That's thing, a part of your personality. I, sh- I, sh- I try to shave it. It's, it's back an hour, <laughs> within an hour of me taking it down. And so now, now that I've opened that world, it's like, oh, you're we're we're going, we're ride or dying with this one. You are going. <laughs> you are a cop on vacation every time you'll go out now. That's my look. Yeah, I, look. I mean, one of us is going to have this look at some point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Cram- I mean, uh, Kramer, your boy Darren Waller is ahead of Dallas Goddard. Full point PPR point. So you are in the lead for the mustache. What bet. is the mustache bet now? Uh, Goddard fantasy, versus Waller. Fantasy, fantasy points. points. Fantasy points. Can you hit that nerd button, yeah, please? Hit that nerd button. Nerd! Winner gets to rock a mustache. Yep. Okay. Uh, for that many, the number. <laughs> no, of the days. loser has to shave the mustache. I, was, I already caught Ryan on the reverse psychology there. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna. I was just plowing through, ignoring your. So it's uh, a season long bet. Yep. Yeah. And then loser has to wear a mustache. No injury clause. That's no. always it's always bad. That's why I knew about the mustache was bad when like people are using it as bets for, <laughs> for shame yeah. and punishment. Oh, I want to look like you because <laughs> I lost a bet. Oh, all right. <laughs> this is how I look every day. But all right. That's <laughs> uh, uh, not a bad. Thing. Kramer, do you want to do you want to go show. first? In no, the I'll go last. Sunday night. I'll go last. Okay, I'll kick it off. I'm feeling pretty good. Mm-hmm. I we normally do. Or a lot of times the formula is two from each side for the Sunday night football yeah. <laughs> first touchdowns. I am scrapping, no. scrapping the Jets. You're Not, saying they can't score a touchdown? Uh, they can. I'm just I I didn't I, I wasn't feeling it. I'd mm-hmm. rather just play three Chiefs. Yeah. If you that don't formula think... worked for the Eagles game. All right. What do I'll, you say? I'll, I'll continue the conversation when I pick because I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna lean into the idea. So I'll save it. Okay. No, it, it, it's a strategy I kind of like. I'm gonna lean into first up. Give me Rashi Rice yes. eighteen to one. They seem to go out of their I way. Love I love it uh, to use him near the goal line, and yeah, I mean he's got what is it uh, three red zone targets so far this season. That's a lot considering how how diverse this uh, offense is. He was down at the one like twice last week too. No, yeah, to they he, they almost put it in. Yeah. They clearly have some plays designed right. for him. Other one I like is Justin Ross. He's a guy who hasn't been involved as mm. much, but he thirty eight percent of the snaps last game. Andy Reid has him out there mm. for a reason. Uh, getting him at thirty five to one is is super fun. This one, this is my this is my masterpiece. This is as a first touchdown artisan. This is a delicious first touchdown bet. This is okay. So now when they get to the goal line, red zone area. Everyone in the entire stadium, the camera's going to be yep. cutting to Taylor Travis Swift, Kelsey. Mm-hmm. Travis Kelsey incoming. The Jets players, they don't want to be humiliated by having Travis Swift score a touchdown against them on the yeah. first touchdown. They'll still be carrying it's the first touchdown. They're already fired up. What better way to fake out the New York Jets than by giving Blake Bell, AKA the Belldozer, the mm-hmm. first touchdown? Taylor Swift will cheer, but her heart won't be in it. Uh, Andy Reid, the ultimate. She might think it's Kelsey. Yeah, she's a white guy, eighties so. number. Uh, Blake Bell, forty to one. Uh, he he was the first touchdown, uh, or no, he was an anytime touchdown in week one. I think he gets it done here, forty to one. Blake Bell. I like that. 
CJ, how say you? And who knows with Kansas City? Is that ring around the rosy once they yeah, get down there to it's the a five for sure? Young Joka might be right. running around. Um, I'm also with you, three Chiefs. I want to. I was gonna. You got to throw Kelsey in there. I mean, okay. for crying out loud. Oh, no. Well, just the way Mahomes is, he's just terrified of these Swifties coming after him. You know what I mean? He's like, he's like, he knows what's going to happen. If he fucking, if he, if he doesn't get Kelsey a touchdown, I, I actually think, yeah, I mean, I wonder he's, he's scared and I he think, should be think they're the evil. Only, the only he, guy who's not scared. You I have think daughters. My, you know how well, crazy uh, they are. I'm telling you, I think Kelsey might be too dumb to realize it, but mm-hmm. the rest of the team is like, Oh damn. He brought her in the locker room. Nah, but this is a first touchdown. This is prime time. This is New York. This is when we're in. They want to get this thing out of the way. All right, too. All right. So it's uh. She's like Cleopatra. She's like this queen that you can't feed up and tray. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna argue Cleopatra. with you. <laughs> right. Um, also go Rashi Rice. I love that one, dude. Eighteen to one. So I'll go. I'll just go real quick. Um, and this is my the only jets that I have, but it's just actually Kansas City as well. Kansas City defense, twenty five to one. Oh yeah. I mean, absolutely. This is this whole yes, game. Sir. This whole game itself is like a public flogging for Zach Wilson, and it's a gift they're giving to Jets fans. They're gonna boo the hell out of him. They're gonna, it's, it's, you know, there's like, all right, here's one last, you know, feed me to the lions, have him out there. It's gonna be, it's gonna be hilarious, and it's just gonna be, there's gonna be violent I, booing. There could be a lot of booing before the game right. starts, That's which what I is mean. pretty rare. That's Usually what, you get that first drive. Exactly. I mean, they're not even having Simeon being active. They're not even. He, he's like, I don't want a uniform. Aaron <laughs> Rodgers blown his Achilles. This is the best thing that ever happened to him. He's not a part of this. <laughs> this is a team they love to hate up there in New York. I would kind. I mean, I do. I did kind. If if he at least played a little bit and sucked, at least they would have taken some of the heat off. Of right. Zach Wilson. That's what I mean. Like you that know? line. That line. You know, they were not going to do much better in Dallas wanna, than Aaron Rodgers. I, you know, the more that I've thought about it, it the Achilles popping maybe is the perfect outcome for Aaron Rodgers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Not the Jets, but. Aaron, why else would he give the Keep money the back? He, he, he knew may, he wasn't playing. He may have. He may have. He may. Have, oh sure, you want you want ten percent right. back? I mean, I ain't playing fifty percent of the time. So he may have popped his Achilles, but he saved his legacy because I oh. think I think playing with that Jets oh. team could have only gone wrong. He was gonna mentor Zach Wilson and everything. <laughs> oh yeah, then he shows Zach. Did you talk Zach? Did you talk to Aaron yet? Did you? Did you did you did you see if he ran or pass on this play? What do you think? Uh, That's why I love. That's why I love when they keep telling us how they believe in Zach mentoring. Wilson. No, you no, you don't. You, all summer you told us you don't. All summer on hard hard knocks, yeah. all you said was how great it is that you don't have yeah. Zach Wilson. We need to get someone anymore. who's really good at editing. I think Kramer was talking about this, but. Uh, taking all the clips from Hard Knocks, right. where the where the defense is like, see that, yeah. C number, what, what C number uh, eight. Eight. eight, yeah, yeah, C eight, well, eight's on our side yeah, this yeah, year. Yeah. Eight <laughs> is eight. See that, see that, he's on our team, and it's just Zach yeah. Wilson just eating sacks right, and throwing because they're like, thank God, we, it's not like last year. Zach, you remember last year, right? Hell, you're the reason why we were terrible last year. The whole show is about how thank God they don't have Zach Wilson, right. and then Zach Wilson is their quarterback. Why, how did they get rid of him? Couldn't and, write. This. And now there's this couple that broke up that still has a lease oh, in her no. apartment that they got to ride out, or a dog they got to take <laughs> care of, and now they're they both want away from each other. So Sunday night is just going to be a bloodbath of booze. And give me that defensive touchdown, Kansas City. Yeah, how do you not play a defensive touchdown right. for Kansas City? I mean, on the any times probably in play, mm-hmm. uh, got them on my card twenty five to one. Sean, I, I think you're right about the tight end. I'm, you might be on the wrong guy. I know he already popped with a red zone target, uh, and, and I believe he scored already this year. Noah Gray, no Blake Bell, but um, Noah Gray is the yes. guy that I would go okay. after because I, I see that angle. Well, I think when you look at snap counts, he was yeah. out, out snapping Travis Kelsey even last week, so. I think Noah Gray at twenty one or well, twenty eight to one is a great play, and I took a different route. Uh, I I do want to alert people because we off. I mean, we we've we've complained about the market, the first touchdown market being completely evaporated with value, but a guy who plays for the Jets, you may remember him from draft day when he was drafted by the Jets. <laughs> Jeremy Ruckert's dad <laughs> did a J E T S Jets Jets Jets. Well. He plays snaps for the team. He's fifty to one in the anytime market, Sean. He's a hundred and ninety to one in the first touchdown. Oh market. wow! I fifty. When's the last time we've seen a fifty to one wow. anytime? Wow, that's insane. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not playing. I just he's lower than guys like Israel Abanaconda who probably won't play any right. snaps. This guy, I don't burned. think he's active. Yeah, who? 
Israel. Oh yeah, no, he's not going to be after. So just just something to highlight. Uh, I probably will not help myself and put a little pizza bet on that first touchdown. But the way that I decided to play the Jets side because I'm with you. I don't think they can score a touchdown. Mm, no. So if I don't think they can they can score a touchdown, why not throw a little no touchdown score? Oh. Eighty to one. Yes. Wow! I've Diabolical. Seen, I, I've seen Ryan. this story before. Mm-hmm. So you got like a twelve-three Chiefs win. Twelve nothing. They still cover. And I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm gonna save that extra quarter unit for some other time in the future. Oh, that is <laughs> great. Mo- good money management. Yep. yep. <laughs> People always ask me how I, manage, how I manage my bankroll. Well, sometimes put the unit back in the pants. <laughs> Usually works out for the better. Save a couple bucks. Brees Hall just liked a tweet, by the way, that, oh. that ripped on Zach Wilson. Oh, no. I love, I love when browser history is a part of their scouting. Yeah. Like, it, uh, <laughs> gotta be careful. We're, we're. I think, I think it's a couple weeks from now is when we're due to find out that uh, Brees Hall was betting on the uh, betting heavily last season. And yeah, no shit. He came games. from that Iowa State uh, r- r- yeah, gamb- you know gambling ring of ten dollar parlay uh, cards. <laughs> the poor guys. I mean, I still think it's kind of like, can we not? Maybe. maybe you know, there's they 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 protect victims a lot in the uh, the public eye, and maybe yeah. don't show people's bet slips. That's embarrassing. <laughs> I mean, to see that someone yeah, average seven, you don't have to shame them. I agree. Yeah. I mean, he's a he's a co- collegiate athlete. He, I mean, he's probably <laughs> trying to get laid. Yeah, it's like when they show Jerry Springer's Jesus. check he wrote to a whorehouse or whatever. Oh, yeah, like, no, we don't we don't need to see these details. That's Come pretty on. funny. We get it. Pretty funny. <laughs> All right, Sean, I do have a couple bangers. Oh, for, for okay. Us in the in the crazy fucking parlay DJ and parlay section. section. Let's get it going. Of course, that's brought to you by hall of fame bets. The official parlay optimizer of the sports gambling podcast. You got parlay ideas. Of course you do. You're listening to our show. How would you listen to our show and not have parlay ideas? Look at the, if you're watching on youtube.com slash sports gambling podcast, very easy to use. Uh, you just pick the different legs of, uh, of the parlay. It'll calculate the expected value. Basically, if you're doing any sort of research, looking up all the stats, like Travis Kelsey, how many times has he gone over 70 receiving yards? They will actually d- just do that instantly. You don't have to go manually and count each time. Uh, and you can set it for however many games, last three, last 10, last 25, all time, whatever it is. Uh, highly, highly recommend Hall of Fame bets. Uh, download the Hall of Fame bets app or visit hofbets.com and use code SGPN to get 50% off. Your first month today. Start researching. Start winning with Hall of Fame bets. Kramer, you have the floor. All right, you want the big one or the small one? I came with two. Jesus. All right, I'll give you the small one. <laughs> Sean, I'm, I'm going to do something diabolical. Mm. Never done this before. Never on this show have I ever suggested you should bet on Zeke Elliott to do anything. Oh my mm. God, Ryan! That is a disgusting act. But he but is going against the Cowboys. He's playing the Cowboys. Allow, you don't think, allow it. You don't think they're going to get his ass in the fucking end zone <laughs> so he can he can spoon feed himself like a fat fucking job of the hut? Yeah, will he fit in that Salvation Army bucket anymore? Leashed, <laughs> leashed up with a beautiful <laughs> he, lady. They got to get the jaws of life to pry him <laughs> out. Oh, the he absolutely. He'll slide right in since the Belichick <laughs> put the sweatshirt on him and said, "You're fat. Wear this during practice." <laughs> Plus two forty five on the anytime. Oh. That's not that's not enough. Though. No, no, that's the be- that's a first leg. And we, that's lo- a, we love that's a, good, a chunky leg. We yeah. love a good revenge angle. We heard about him all off season about how he was flashing. We've seen him pop his head into the game a couple times and look athletic. Trent Sherfield came from Miami. Oh, yeah, he now is playing for Buffalo. Mm. He is plus eight fifty on the anytime market. Wow. Let's go. Put those two together. Thirty one seventy seven. That's a little bit short at thirty two to one. There you go, Sean. I like it. You got a little theme there. A little yeah, revenge. revenge you can and call it uh, the best uh, dish served. It's cold. And you didn't even bring oh. up James Winston, the only the actual revenge game. Uh, well, uh, yeah, you know, you get uh, a good point. I I I, <laughs> I, I, I needed to find. Well, it, the quarterbacks just aren't as fun because I'm not gonna I'm right. not gonna bet that James not, is gonna I find know. the end. Zone. Sure, of course. There's no crab legs there. No, that's not a good. One. I should have used the Uber driver joke there. It would have worked better <laughs> in the end zone. Uh, CJ, what do you got for the good folks? Parlay wise. Well, I'll go, I'll go with Kramer. I'll give you the small one first. Oh, you, you dog. And then we'll go big later. <laughs> I, you get your option. Yeah, it's like you tell send, me how you like yeah, it. Yeah, put Kelsey through, <laughs> and then it's a lot <laughs> yeah. easier to sl- get that first down. Yeah, tell me how you like it. Uh, small one. This one, just a quick banger. Quick forty-eight to one. 
Okay. Impossible not to hit this one. No. Well, it's free money. Half of the revenge of the Adam Thielen, like I was saying, the Adam Thielen revenge game. Adam Thielen, 100 yards. Nico, 100 yards. You parlay that up. Those are both 6-1. to one. That Whoa. equals a 48-1. to one. Whoa. Wait. Say that again. Hold on. Let me write this down. Nico. Nico Collins, 100 plus oh, yards. 100 geez. yards or plus. It's like a minus 110, basically. All right. I'm in. Adam uh, Thielen, yeah, hundred okay, yards yeah, plus. Yeah, okay. We right writing it down. I'm gonna. You get both prices at DraftKings right now. It's six to one. Parlay it together. Uh, that makes it forty-eight to one. Yep. Okay. Sean. Yes. Uh, what do you do over there? We got just both placing it. We no. opening new I, windows I, and placing that because uh, I mean that's how easy that thing is. I, I'm I, seeing that's the, move. Easy, that's the easiest forty-eight to one you're gonna I'm, make. I'm seeing the line move as we speak. I, I liked your idea of having a small one and a granddaddy. So, oh, so I, got, I only had the granddaddy. I had, to, I had to get a little small dog in there. He was getting. <laughs> he was getting. Yeah, envious of the, the big oh, option. Oh, one hundred percent envious. All right, Sean Payton clearly has his guys. Guys, he likes. Um, and one of those guys has had two receptions in the red zones on three targets, zero touchdowns. The Bears secondary is completely uh, missing. So give me Adam Troutman two touchdowns, twenty eight to one. Very simple formula there. Like it, twenty eight to one. The Bears defense is pretty bad, uh, and the, and their safeties and cornerbacks are completely out. My big daddy, my granddaddy of them all. I don't understand. I I'm gonna double check this one more time because this mean? has to be a misprint. It, well, it, read it out to me. I'll calculate it on the spot here. No, because it's oh. it's not. It's much like that other one. Oh. I'm going to another game where we could see some scoring. We could see two touchdowns going to a tight end. Ryan, uh, we gave out Josh Oliver first touchdown uh, in the Vikings Chargers okay. game. It just missed. It actually hit for the Vikings. He was the first touchdown scorer for them. Okay. So he already has a touchdown in the red zone. They like him near the goal line. What do you think, Josh Oliver, to get two touchdowns against his par- Panthers defense, also dealing with the safety missing, linebacker missing, AKA everything setting up for <clears throat> a Kirk to Josh Oliver connection? My true number, like six to one. What have I told you? A hundred and ten. Whoa! A hundred and ten to Whoa. one. Wait a minute. They're, they're, the market is off. Yeah. A hundred ten by my calculations, uh, one hundred and four. Refresh your browser. That can't be right. <laughs> a hundred and ten to one. Why is it? First off, why is it ninety times more than than uh, Adam Troutman? I don't know. He already has a touchdown. <laughs> Adam Troutman hasn't scored a touchdown. I, I and he's his his any times eight to one. Why hmm. would two touchdowns be a hundred and ten to one? This is clearly mispriced. It's over on DraftKings if you want it. Oh, all right. Kramer, what do you got? Well, I was actually going to make it bigger. I mean, if you if you can give me a second, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap That's it. That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give ra- I'm gonna just ra- give me five minutes let to recoup, the, and the, I'll uh, make it bigger. Let the hymns uh, ch- hit, sweetie. <laughs> CJ, what's your uh, what's your granddad? Oh wow, I wasn't ready. Our granddad, uh, we're just going to add on. This is like the receiver, the receiver route tree. You can okay. go, you know, you just add on to it. I can give you a medium one at 111 to one, Ooh. but I'm going to give you the big one. Big dog. I'll give you the big one, 391 <laughs> to one, because that's how we're going to thread this. Like I said earlier, Tennessee has not scored a touchdown first no. yet in the season, so you can ignore them completely. I'm going to go push in that Nico 100 yards, Thielen 100 yards, and give me Jamar Chase first touchdown. Yes, sir. That makes it a three hundred and ninety-one to oh one. Oh my part god! Away. Are you kidding me? Oh my god! Because he's plus seven fifty for the first touchdown. He's going to grab that. If you want to do anytime touchdown, that drops it down to one hundred eleven to one. I don't recommend it. I mean, <laughs> like you said, how much don't are you willing? To, how much are you willing to win? Yes, you only only bet what you're willing to win. So that's a three. That's your three simple, easy winners there. Nico hundred, Thielen hundred, Jamar Chase first touchdown, three hundred ninety-one to one. Love it, Kramer. Close us out with a big dog. Well, I got my I I, I was inspired. Oh, love defensive it. touchdowns. Oh, oh defensive touchdown parlay. Uh, listen to these prices. What it's is all, going it, on? It's all wrong. All right, so Joe it's Burrow. Joe Burrow's got a bad leg. Yeah, confirmed. <laughs> T- Tennessee's defensive price yep. is eight to one. Mm-hmm. Holy oh, shit! Juicy. Whoa. Right. Yeah. Deshaun Watson giving the ball to the other team. His the, the Baltimore defensive price. That's minus one ten. Right. Nine to one. What? And then wait a second. Be careful. If you uh, get get elevation sickness, you might want to sit down. 
because we smoke about weed. I saw Brock Purdy throw three passes, two of which could have been easily pick sixes against the lowly New York football team. Yeah, Giants. Mm. he's and getting this away week, with. They play against Jonathan Gannon, an opportunistic, aggressive defense. I like that. They're eleven to one. What? Wow. What? Put them all three together, Sean. What do you got? One that. One thousand seventy nine <laughs> to one. <laughs> so I bet ten dollars. I win ten thousand. Let me, let me yes. just check that for you. Ten dollar bet would, uh, yeah, would would uh, win uh, ten thousand eight hundred. Wow. We got to get some bets in. I mean, my <laughs> how does God. that go wrong? All right, I'm I mean, gonna spend a good thirty minutes. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to write. Uh, I'm gonna have to type yeah, that I'll, into my computer. I'll, uh, I'll just and write down the eight. I'll just throw that in the uh, the WAS system. Ten to <laughs> one. I mean, what else are you doing Ball, this weekend? A Z. Who was the first God, one? God help anyone if this hits. Baltimore, Arizona, Baltimore, and Tennessee. And Tennessee, I love it. Oh, it's amazing. All right, what a show! What a time! Hey, uh, check out the Vison show Friday night, yes. nine o'clock Pacific. Mm. Got Munaf Manji uh, debuting Ooh. his ref report on there, and a uh, lot more. Uh, you know, you get, you break down our super long parlay ticket. We will give out our first touchdown picks for the Sunday afternoon slate. Uh, gonna be some fun winners in there as well. CJ, uh, thanks for coming on. Where can uh, people hey, check you, guys you out? Give me a little time to plug the product. <laughs> where can uh, where can people check you out? Well, first subscribe to the Bottom Line Bombs if you haven't done that already. Right here, of course, getting the man in the box. Everyone, everyone in this YouTube chat should be subscribing to the YouTube uh, bottom yes, line sir. bombs on them right there. And uh, follow me on, on the social. CJ Sullivan was taken is the Instagram. Not like Liam Neeson, but the name CJ Sullivan was taken, so I just use that. I'll be in Chicago this weekend, actually. Gonna be at the Laugh Factory tomorrow night, and Ooh. I might, I might actually go to. The, I, I, I might have to check out that Bears Denver game. Oh. <laughs> I, mean, I called up to see if there's any good seats available left. They said, uh, "Can can you play line for us? Because we have an. You're opening. gonna be on the 53. Yeah, we have an opening for you. Can you block? And uh, Ryan, YouTube stat: 50 percent of the oh. viewers are not subscribed. So what, what are you doing? Smash! That subscribe button. Tell a friend. They're, they're saving their clicks. Yes. What are you saving those clicks for, buddy? Like and you're saving your twenty five percent bankroll. Yeah. Your twenty quarter of yeah. a unit. Hey, I'll give you a quarter of a unit if you click subscribe. <laughs> and uh Patreon uh pick'em contest mm. is the DGen University Prize Pack, sports gaming podcast dot com slash Patreon. Get involved in the war against corporate gambling. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean Second the Money Green. He's Ryan. Bonus Zach Wilson under 177 and a half passing yards <laughs> in Sunday night football. Kramer, <laughs> let it ride.